Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, it's an honor to be here. And I'd like to uh, start by just saying that uh, what we will present today is a, a taste of this infrastructure in line with our president's desire to defeat poverty and bring progress to even to every corner of our nation. We've embarked on this infrastructure program, which, like they said earlier, is by far the most ambitious infrastructure program in the history of the Philippines. Just to give you an idea, the DPWH will spend approximately 450 billion pesos this year in infrastructure programs. And to give you an idea of the scale of this, if you were, or how drastic this change is, if you were to add up the infrastructure, the DPWH budget from 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013, it would still not, it would still be less than how much we'll be spending this year on infrastructure projects. So, uh, no doubt, that, there's no doubt that this is the most ambitious, and this is just a beginning for us. And also, at the same time, I'd also like to say that uh, we are doing this efficiently. We are still maintaining a robust uh, hurdle rate for our economic IRR, for the economic IRR for all the projects, above 10%, which is very efficient. So it's a very um, uh, efficient use of our resources. And uh, we're very uh, confident that this is the program that will bring us to the next level of development. So here we have a taste. If I were to give you all the projects, we might be here till midnight, so I'll try my best to just give you a taste of what, are the, what we can come to expect and what we've already seen. Uh, what we can see here, uh, this is a project that was launched uh, just in time. We had targeted to finish, we had, uh, I think this is a symbol of what can be done with a successful partnership between the private and public sector. Uh, runway Manila. Runway Manila. This is a uh, pedestrian uh, w walk going from the EF3 to Newport City. This was done at no cost to government with, uh, with the cooperation of uh, Mega World Corp uh, Corporation. It was finished in uh, the final. It was finished. It started in December and it was finished in April. The crosswalk that you see there was uh, finished in a very quick, a very fast uh, pace and just in time as we had. Uh, just on schedule in time for the Asian summit. So there's a short video just to see the actual runway. Thank you. I remember a few years ago, I, I distinctly remember it took me 45 minutes to get from one side of the 93 to the other side. Yeah, so it, that was a very frustrating experience for me, and it's, it gives me personal pleasure to know that that'll never happen again. <laughs> so that's the runway. And our next one is the Nia Expressway. Uh, this is a project also that was finished this year, and I think that. Uh, Again, it's, uh, it's another symbol of how we can, if we work the private sector, we can finish projects at a very fast pace. Our next phase for this is we are already looking at expanding the NEA Expressway so that from, this, from the NEA Expressway, you'll have a portal, you'll have a pathway to go to the fort. You don't have to go down to Magallanes anymore, and this will avoid the traffic of EDSA. So that's what we're working on to extend the, um, the benefits of this NEA Expressway. So that'll be coming this year. We'll start constructing it this year. So, this is a very one of our most ambitious projects for the DPWH. It's a series of 18 uh, projects, highway projects, that are uh, ranged from private, and some are private, some are public, and we call it the Luzon Spine Expressway Network. And the, here's the map. You can see all the projects: Tipolex, Clex, North Luzon East Expressway, Playa del Bypass, SETEX, NLEX, Harborlink. NLEX SLEX connector, the South Link, the Cavitex, the SLEX TR4, the Quebecs, and the Camsor Expressway. All these projects 
will connect are, de are designed to connect the northernmost point of Luzon to the southernmost point. If you go now from Bicol to Manila, it'll take you 12 hours. On a bad day, it'll take you 16. Uh, when, this, when this spinal network of roads is finished, you can go from La Union to Bicol in less than 12 hours. We are targeting to finish this. We will finish this by the end of this uh, President's administration. Uh, you can see we'll be, we'll be groundbreak with the TR4. We're already beginning the TR4. We're already advanced stage for the uh, planning for the Quezon Bicol Expressway. We'll also be creating a highway on the east to bring, to bring development also to that side, the Vicia side, you can see. There's the North Luzon East Expressway in the Silex. Again, this is uh, in line. We will bring progress to every corner of the country. And this is one of the uh, major projects of DPWH that we will finish under the term of President Duterte. And these are just the projects that are included. These are just some pictures, the Tipilex that you saw earlier. Uh, it's ongoing to be completed by next year. It'll go all the way to Rosario, the Rosario exit. So once that's finished, you'll be able to go to Baguio in less than three hours. The NLEX SX connector, which was awarded this year. Um, there are two projects that are bypass roads for EDSA. The NLEX SX connector and the Skyway extension. The Skyway extension will be finished by next year. The NLEX, NLEX SX connector road will be finished by 2021, but we're targeting to finish it by 2020. And there's a short video for the, we have a short video for the connector road, which was just awarded uh, uh, under this administration. It's a project in partnership with Metro Pacific. The Harbor Link, which we're targeting to finish by the end of this year. Once this is done, uh, trucks from the port no longer have to go through EDSA or C5. They can go straight to NLEX using the Harbor Link. From Manila to NLEX using the Harbor Link is only 10 minutes. We've already cleared the R10 road in preparation for this project. Uh, the Calax that's going from Cavitex to the Mamplasan exit in uh, Laguna. This will create a new growth corridor for the Laguna and Cavite area. The CLEC, Central Luzon Expressway, connecting, uh, connecting uh, Cabanatuan to Tarlac, the CLEC, and scheduled to be completed in 2020. And this is uh, also for Metro Manila. Uh, like they said, every day we lose 2.4 billion pesos. We'll be constructing 12 bridges across the Pasig River. We've already, uh, two of these bridges will be donated by China at a cost of $70 million through one of their grants. Uh, we'll also be creating a bridge, uh, starting a bridge this year. Uh, it's called the Santa Monica Bridge, connecting Fort to Ortigas. We're already in advanced stage for planning for the other bridges, and we'll be finished by 2021, if not earlier. The Bacolod Economic Highway, just to show that this, these major ticket projects are not limited to Luzon, Metro Manila. We have major projects in all, uh, all regions across the country. An example of this is the Bacolod Economic Highway, creating a new growth corridor coming from the airport. It's a uh, four-lane highway for the first highway that will incorporate bike lanes, pedestrian infrastructure. Of course, we all know what happened in Yolanda. We're investing heavily in uh, disaster risk management. One of these projects is the late tide embankment project. It uh, stretches about 20 kilometers. It's a, it's a major project that, we've, that eventually will also become a uh, major tourism attraction. So we're designing it again with a strong pedestrian component. We know about the traffic in Cebu. We've already an advanced stage of planning for the Metro Cebu Expressway, a project that will solve the long-term traffic in Metro Cebu. This is a 70, approximately 70-kilometer 70 expressway. 
going from uh, Danao to Naga. And i just like to say this is an advanced stage of study. We're already doing some of the uh, surveying for the right of way. So uh, we will begin funding this uh, uh, by next year. Again, this is uh, one of our bridges from our bridge program in Mindanao, the Pangil Bay Bridge Program. This is to connect uh, Misamis Occidental to Lanao del Norte. This is also starting uh, next year and will be completed by 2021. The Mindanao Development Road Network, this is a more than 80 billion peso series of projects designed to improve the logistics and the movement of goods and services across all of Mindanao to improve the peace and order. These are part of this uh, road network is also master planned by JICA in order to service also areas that are affected by peace and order issues. This is also a very ambitious master plan that we will implement by in, during the term of our president. And of course, the Davao City Bypass. Davao, being, Davao City being one of the major centers of growth in the Mindanao, uh, we, this is, an, uh, again, a long-term solution to the, the congestion issues in Davao City. This is already a funded project. So these are some of, again, this is just a taste of some of the projects that we have. We have, um, like I said, these pro like we said earlier, these projects are posted in the Build, 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 and uh, we seek the maximum transparency in the implementation of all these infrastructure projects. Thank you very much.